Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex. And I guess if we look at the MFF Twitter page, there is no sneak peek. But wait, there is. The Twitter page is just massively behind schedule. If you go on over to the YouTube page, you can often find the Twitter post video posted in high definition. And so here we go. December update, for whatever reason, sneak peek number four. That's right, the December update on January 16th, 2022. Make that make sense, Flat Earthers. Let's take a look here. We get some regal music. Bum, bum, bum. I wonder who this could be. There's a big X on the door. Hmm. We see some greens and some blues. Okay. Yes, it's getting it's getting hotter but colder at the same time. Who could it be? Who's that Pokemon? It's Emma Frost. Okay, there we go. That's this. Hey, what's up, Brian? That is the sneak peek. That's the upcoming update for presumably Tuesday, January 18th, slash Tuesday, January, or Wednesday, January 19th. Emma Frost. And if you notice on her Hellfire Gala invitation card, that is a T and that is a three. It says, You are cordially invited to the Hellfire Gala on the evening of the. I can't read that. So we're getting a brand new uniform for Emma Frost and Emma Frost Tier 3. This is pretty big. However, it is also possibly upsetting. And I'll sort of, I'll explain, well, I won't sort of, I will explain why. But first, I want the Emma Frost fans to have their party. Congratulations. I have never been the biggest fan of Emma Frost in the comics or in the game. So I'm going to put my, but, but I'm going to put my biases aside here and, you know, give you your flowers and congratulate you because... Every character deserves their time in the sun. Uh, not that I want her to melt. And hopefully the fourth time is the charm. I will say that. When she first came out, she was pretty good. This uniform didn't do very much for her. She was still pretty good. This uniform did even less for her. She was even less good. And then she turned into a villain. Or actually, she's always eh, she's always been a villain, I believe. But anywho, they... No, she was a hero here. She was a hero. Then she went villain twice and now i believe she's going back to he no she was a hero here too so never mind she was a hero throughout most of it she was only a villain with with phoenix 5 let's say persona 5 anywho emma frost has not been good from the devs perspective they have underperformed on delivering her power level accurately and she has been chronically one of the most expensive and least worth characters in the game really a really just a trophy character for the most part and i know i've gotten a lot of heat from emma frost fans that i don't play her properly i don't i don't really appreciate her brilliance but let's be real she has not been meta and she wasn't even meta when she got this uniform so but that anyways but that's all in the past i'm i am genuinely hoping 100 that they do her right i i would never wish a bad rework on any character maybe gene gray circa 2020 that's different Okay, Jean Grey was strong for too long. Emma Frost has never been strong. So I am fingers crossed hoping that they make Emma Frost very good. She deserves to be meta, at least as good as Betsy or better. That is what I want to say on the positive note. And what I want to say in general is that I'm happy that Emma Frost is getting a uniform and Emma Frost is getting a tier three. If you guys are wondering more about this Hellfire look, because I know some of you guys are, you know, degenerates, this is a look from the comic. So it's basically torn right out of the pages of the comic, which is really cool. And the devs did a fantastic job of, you know, recreating that bizarre uh, head, you know, headdress, whatever, not headdress, um, hat, I guess, that you'd call it, that she has. And, of course, everything else is looking pretty accurate as well. Here's another look at the uniform that she will be getting. Here's another look at the uniform again. You can see it's pretty ostentatious, that headpiece that she has. And then we haven't seen this, but I'm hoping that they will be able to work in this look for her. Maybe one of her skills... With her old, with her original uniform, when she pressed her third skill, she went into diamond form. So hopefully they'll bring back the diamond form because the more recent iterations of Emma Frost don't have a diamond form. But originally she did have diamond form, as you can see here, and it was very, very good. You know, damage decrease, all defense, super armor, very, very thematically accurate. So I'm hoping that she gets diamond form back and because she's looking, I think this is the best form, to be honest. And uh, I really hope that Emma Frost is really good. So that clears that up. Why am I upset? Okay, so here's the thing. What I'm upset about has absolutely nothing to do with Emma Frost. It has absolutely nothing to do with mutant updates. What it has to do with is 
at least from my perspective i could be wrong here always always a good chance that alex is wrong but it seems like this is the update because we got a full i'm getting ahead of myself here but we got a full update well we got maintenance and an update in december and then at the beginning of january we got betsy colossus and and mr sinister that was two weeks ago right that was january 4th slash fifth and that was a mid-month update so if there's maintenance in a couple of days for this that means that this is the update i think we need to move past the the whole concept of mid-month updates or partial updates if it's only for one character and one tier three i know we've done it in the past you know you know a few months ago we did it for ebony ma with his tier three and yada 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 but it's really right now the game is really dry and it's even more dry it's it's really really dry and, and it's kind of a letdown if we if we waited two weeks to get one uniform and a tier three especially considering how closely linked she is to the other characters in the hellfire gala like you're telling me they did they didn't have her ready right they had these three ready but they didn't have emma ready we really needed to wait two weeks for one uniform for an existing character and and her tier three upgrade really okay i sound a little bit you know i sound like a demanding petulant child you're right i'm sorry i'm gonna try to tone it down however let me point something out to you two years ago the january update sneak peek number one was dropped at the end of december and i know that calendars shift and you know work schedules shift coronavirus pandemic listen i'm not saying that the, the devs need to or should be working non-stop they deserve their break they deserve their holidays they deserve their vacation you're absolutely right i'm just pointing something out to you okay last year during the pandemic we had the january update sneak peek number one this was harold thor remember how hyped this update was this was Dece december 28th again at the end of december we were getting the january update sneak peeks and if you if you need a reminder what did this update bring La literally one year ago when the pandemic was arguably worse than it is now. I, I don't want to argue about that. But anyways, we got a new uniform for Thor, Harold Thor, with a brand new tier three skill. So it's almost like a brand new tier three. We got a new uniform for Valkyrie and a transcendence for her. We got a new uniform for Loki and a tier three for him that was brand new. And we got no world boss legend. Three new uniforms two new tier threes one new transcendence or not a new transcendence because they just took the sif and heimdall transcendence but you get what i'm saying and then or actually she already had that i'm not 100 percent sure and then null world boss legend content keyword here content new content <sighs> okay let's compare that to this year what have we gotten in january thus far we got two new uniforms for Mr. Sinister and Captain Britain. We got one, whatever the hell this is called, which is not a uniform. This is a side grade, a downgrade even. This is a slap in the face. Okay, so two uniforms and one failure. Okay, three uniforms, one new tier three uh, and a failure. And the, and the transcendence that they just copied and pasted. So it's basically the same as Valkyries, right? Because it's just copied and pasted for three characters. You can kind of see where I'm a little bit irritated here, right? You can kind of see why I'm a little bit irritated. So yeah. I feel like now is not really a good time for the game to be so stale and for the devs to basically just double down on the staleness, right? We really didn't need to wait two weeks for Emma Frost. I mean, Emma Frost is great. Did we really need to wait two weeks for her? No, probably not. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on over at HQ. I'm not saying that there's anything, anything wrong with the game because I don't think there's anything wrong with the game. I just think that the devs are, maybe not the devs, maybe the management team. I don't know. Someone is taking advantage of what appears to be smooth sailing for MFF. And the game is not in a bad place, but it's also just kind of stagnating and it's sort of in a rut. And it doesn't seem like the developers really realize that or, or intend to um, spice things up. And we could really use some spice right now. And basically the only spice I have for you is that they've updated the sneak peek logo. <laughs> I kid you not, they updated the sneak peek logo. Let me show you. Uh, if we go over here and we go back to, you know, old sneak peeks, this is what it looked like. And they've updated it. They've given it, they've given it a brand new coat of paint for 2022. Whoa, guys, welcome to 2022. This is the year that ever that we get flying cars. Okay, 
All right, sarc sarcasm aside for five seconds here. The last member, see, even they know. The last member of the Hellfire Gala has finally arrived. Yeah, two weeks for Emma Frost. Wow, that way to make an entrance. Fashionably late. Meet the host of the Hellfire Gala in her new looks, the White Queen. Be sure to join this glamorous superhero. So the so the keyword here is she's moving back to her superhero roots at the Hellfire Gala. We will announce the details through the patch details to come. So this means that okay, the the patch details there may there may be more in the patch notes, but there's not going to be any more sneak peeks presumably because usually when they say this that means that there's no more sneak peeks. So again, I ask you, we waited two weeks. Yeah, we waited two weeks for one uniform and a tier three. I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm not really happy with that personally. I know it might sound, you know, demanding and, and, and selfish, but I do think the game deserves more than that. Um, and I think the devs need to, uh, you know, pick up the pace here because since December, right, for this, so for almost two months straight now, We've just gotten uniforms for existing characters, no new content, nothing, you know, nothing really to shake the boat or, or improve things. And Black Hat didn't even get a tier three or Transcendence, so you sort of missed that one there. I don't even know if we can call Colossus's uniform a new uniform, okay? So it's really one less than that. It's, it's pain, man. It's just kind of painful, you know? So some people are saying, here's the thing. Okay, I don't want to leave you guys with a bunch of negativity, although I am pessimistic. So in, in my pessimistic view, and, and this is, you know, how you prepare yourself, right? If you don't have expectations, you're not going to be disappointed. Old MJ, right? So in my view, looking at the calendar, we're going to get this update um, in two days, right? Uh, or in three days in, on the 19th. That's right around the time when the future pass expires. It may be a little bit, maybe like, you know, 12 hours before the future pass expires. And then I think we're going to have to wait two more weeks into, in the, into the first week of February to get the next update. Now, I could say, hey, uh, an update on my birthday, because my birthday is February 1st. An update on my birthday, the day after my birthday, that's super cool. And yeah, sure, that would be cool. But you know what would be even cooler is an actual update in January. That's right, an actual update with actual content rather than two uniforms and, uh, and whatever that is. So yeah, some people are saying that the um that this is a this is a mid this is another mid-month update and then there's going to be a full update next week on the 26th on the 25th or 26th of january i find that very hard to believe but i guess it's possible i don't know we'll have to wait and see but yeah that's basically how it stands right now and at this point i am sort of beginning to take my foot off of the the gas for marvel future fight and starting to move and consider moving my foot over to the break and start hitting the break and say, hey, hold on, devs, slow down, slow down. You guys, you guys did a, a really good job in 2021. I don't want to mar or, or sully that achievement, but you guys have to refocus now and, and take stock and, and realize what you did well in 2021 that everyone liked. Why did the game do well in 2021? Why did it outperform other games? Why did you guys still make tons of money even though the game has a small dev team? because you balanced reworks, new characters, and game modes, content upgrades. You guys have not delivered on that in the past couple of months. In the past couple of months, there's been zero characters, zero content, and only uniform reworks. This game will not survive on just uniform reworks. It's gonna need, it, we're gonna need a little bit more juice than just uniform. So yeah, I apologize for being so negative, but there is a ray of hope. There's a, there's a small possibility. I, I'm not prescribing to that theory or that timeline but some people think that there's going to be an update next week on top of this one i'm guessing it's going to be february so we may have just emma frost between now and february i know i gotta make two weeks worth of content on emma frost she better be the best damn character ever made <laughs> no i'm just kidding it'll be interesting to see how she is and whether she's good for pve or pvp or both right because she actually did have some pvp presence when she initially came out and she can be particularly good against mind damage characters because of her mind damage or no she's particularly weak against mind immunity characters like jessica jones and gilgamesh because she deals exclusively mind damage with, not with the phoenix 5 uniform but you know what i mean anywho we'll have to keep uh, an eye on it i'll obviously you know be updating you guys with patch notes and everything there but i wanted to give you my full opinion and thoughts because 
uh, it was coming sooner or later. I was going to make a stale video sooner or later. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoy the content. And my Frost fans, woo woo, it's your time to shine. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.